we doing today? Wednesday, April 1st. No April Fool's jokes here from us, okay? Even though I do like my jokes. Um, we'll get a regular joke at the end, but no pranks today from me. Um, I just want to thank all the supporters again. You guys are awesome. I know everyone's finding their new routines. Um, your own physical education teachers might be having their own requirements. Um, but I appreciate you coming back and joining me when you can, um, if you can. Um, thank you. And remember, we have our YouTube link. It's in the About part here. And I also upload every day's video um, that I put on YouTube into this group. Okay? So, um, the one quote at the end that we're going to dive into a little bit more, it's my favorite quote, um, is... You miss 100% of the shots that you don't take from Wayne Gretzky. Okay? I'm not the hugest um, hockey fan, but I feel like that quote can translate to a lot of things in life. And if you've been coached by me in, on the basketball court specifically, you've heard this um, numerous times. You've heard that quote numerous times to just help build confidence in what you're doing. So at the end, we're going to dive into a little bit more of how we can put, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take beyond sports and into life. So uh, we will begin with our workout and our warm up here. We're going to start with our 30 second jog in place. Ready? Go. Remember, this one doesn't have to be so fast-paced. This isn't a sprint. It's just form, bringing our knees up, breathing. Starting to get our heart rate elevated a little bit. Second jumping jacks. Ready? Go. Hopefully, everyone's starting to find their new normal a little bit. These first two days were probably a little stressful. Remember, staying on schedule is key. Finding a schedule. All right. 10 forward arm raises, or circles, and 10 backward arm circles. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Backwards. One, two, three, four, five. Big. Six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right. Whew. Side to side jumps. Ready? Go. Here we go. Getting ready for the day. And like starting off your day with taking care of your body the right way. All right, eagle wings. Ready? Go. work. Good job. Okay, now we're going to do our alternate hand, alternate foot at your pace. If you want to go slow or faster in this one, just stretching out those legs. Ready? 
Go. Drink. All right, first one we're going to do is on our back. We lay down, we have our hands on the side like this with your knees bent. Okay, knees bent one leg to the sky and then we're going to lift our back and our bottom off the floor pushing our leg up towards your ceiling like that and then down and switch up okay so you're going to feel it in your lower back okay and your glutes here this is a good strengthener for your the back core ready start with the leg up Go. Try to keep your legs straight if you can. Almost there. Good job. Huh? Yeah. All right, this one we've done before. These ones are called star jacks. Okay, so we start down. You remember them? Yeah. Start down like this. You jump open and land back down. Okay. Ready? And I'll go sideways. So I don't run into Blake. Go. Almost there. Ten seconds left. Next one, you're going to want a partner. Okay. And we're going to go head to head. We're going to do partner push ups. Okay. If you don't have a partner, that's okay. You can tap the wall. If it's just one kid, mom or dad, and if you're not comfortable doing push ups yet, you can just stand down there with your hands switching with them like this. Okay. So back up just a touch because I got to come on. So here's one example. We'll go down, push up, touch, push up, touch. Do a good push up with your hands up. Get your arms and right, your hands in the right spot. Yep. Ready? You ready? Okay, mm. here we go. Let's get this crew. Go. One, two, Three, four, five. Don't worry about doing a good push up, not about the hand clap. Six, seven, eight, <laughs> nine, ten. Good job. This time we're going to do forward backward hops. So we did side to side in our warm up. 
Now we're gonna do forward backward. So from the side angle, just like you have that imaginary line, okay? You wanna face sideways or forward on this one? Okay, ready? Go. Nice job. Forward back, we're not in one spot. There you go. Good. All right. Must be Wednesday mornings. They get me. All right, on our back. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have our legs straight. We're gonna curl them up and then push them to the sky and back down. Okay. Ready? And remember, sometimes it helps. To have your hands underneath your bottom. Okay. Ready? Go. Up. Push. Back down. Up. Push. Back down. Slow and controlled on the way down. Don't let your feet slam on the floor on the way down. Be in control. Almost done already. All right. Now we're gonna try to do one-legged squats. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have one leg out. You can have your hands together or out. And you're just gonna try to squat down as far as you can, okay? Some people might be able to get a little bit lower. And then after you do one with one leg, you'll switch and do the other leg, okay? So from the side view, you know, leg slightly forward, squat down, switch, squat down, okay? Ready? Go. Left leg's not as loose today as my right leg. <laughs> do what you can. If you need to do it on a couch, you can. That'll help you get lower. Okay. Totally fine. Kind of like this better because I can get lower than I normally would. Good work. See? Every physical fitness thing is adaptive, right? And you can adapt right in the middle of it. All right. This one I did for Blake. This one's a fun one, okay? We call it the maniac run. You're gonna run like a maniac, okay? This is what everybody's gonna look like when they take the quarantine off, okay? So you're gonna start with your legs wide, knees bent a little bit, hands above your head. And so when I step to the right, my arms go left. When I step to the left, my arms go right. So when you start going fast, it looks like this. Okay? If you want to, you can scream. <laughs> you want to stand straight or face me? Straight. Okay, ready? Set. Go. Ah! Pretend like you got just got out. Woo! Bring your knees up. Yeah, there you go. Side to side with your upper body. Wave your hands like you just don't care. Woo! We're free! Maniacs! Almost done! Good job. 
All right, that's one time through. Time for a, another drink. Of water, of water. All right, back to the top, huh, Blake? Mm -hmm. All right, you remember this one? What do we do? Uh, this is the one at a time. Okay, on her back. Knees bent, one leg up, and you're just gonna push your hips off the floor and switch, okay? Ready? Go. We're done. Almost there. Four seconds. See how many you can get in. Good work. All right. Star jacks. Here we go. It's like you're blowing up like a star. Yep. And then remember, we try to land back down like that. Ready? Go. Remember, try not to have your back bend so far forward. Bend at the knees and your hips, not at your back. Almost there. Push-ups. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're far enough back. I'm going to come out to a boat here. Good. We'll start with our right hands. Ready? One more second. Halfway done. Keep pushing. You got this. One more. Nice job. Alright. Forward, backward hops. Remember, really try to work on moving when you're doing that. I'm going to take a quick drink. Must be more human today, having a tougher time breathing. <sighs> or I'm out of shape, one of the two. Haven't figured it out yet. Ready? Forward, backward, hot. You wanna face forward or sideways this time? Um, All right, I'll do forward. You can tell me when it's at halfway, okay? okay. Ready? Go. Halfway, Blake says, we got this. I'm gonna breathe. Start with legs straight, curl them in, push, and back up. What should we do with our legs on the way down? Slap them on the floor or under control? Under control. Remember, it helps to put your hands under your bottom. 
Okay, ready? Go. Nice work. Halfway done. squats yep all right we're gonna use the couch again so if you have a couch or a chair a bench or if you can do it without it that's totally fine some people can do one-legged squats pretty good and get low without having something to sit down on okay ready go Just the edge. <laughs> oh. There we go. We got this. Oh, missed my leg. Good work. All right. Now we get to end with the maniac run. Okay. <clears throat> Really envision yourself getting to run through like the fair or some type of amusement park, all those things that have been shut down and you're missing out on them. You're getting to go through it. Again, they're opening the gates for the first time. That's what kind of maniac I want you to be. And you don't have to worry about your parents saying, come back here, stand by me. You're loose. All right. Ready? Go. Wide legs. Wide legs. Try to reach over your head with the other hand. Oh, yeah. I'm going on all the rides. Nobody's going to stop me, boy. Almost done. We got this. We got to get ourselves ready for that. Free day. Woo! Ah. Nice job. Find your pulse. Find your pulse. Ready? And go. All right. Looks like my max is getting me up to about 15 when I and pushing hard during this stuff. So I had 150 that time. 200. 200. All right. Should we get our stretches on? All right. I'm across. Try to slow your breathing down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Arm back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Toe touchers. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg up. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Leg up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, e
six. We lost our balance at the same time. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Remember, it helps to focus on one spot when we do that. All right, on the floor. Last one. Butterflies. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent work on the exercises today, everybody. Oh, wow. Settle down. That really hurt. Okay. Now, like we talked before, okay, you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Okay, how can we translate that beyond sports? It makes sense in sports, right? So if I don't shoot the puck ever, I'm never going to score a goal. If I don't shoot the basketball, I'm never going to score a goal. Okay, if I don't kick the soccer ball at the net, I'm never going to score a goal. Okay, now to life. Okay. There's going to be chances and choices that you have to make, okay? And we always talk about making healthy choices for yourself. It might not always be the easiest choice. So if you've had me in class, you're probably like, yeah, I've heard this a hundred times from Mr. Campbell, okay? You have to make the choice that's healthy for you, not what the group is doing, Okay, because you might have friends, and we may have all had those friends, that have made poor choices. Okay, and have led to a lot more difficult situations. Okay, so that might be the chance or the shot you need to take right there. Okay, is not always the most popular choice. Okay, it might not be what everyone in your group is wanting you to do. You might have to stand out in a different way. Okay, I know um, doing this, what we're doing right now, is you doing something different than normal. That was a choice that you made to participate in this group and have your kids and your families and all that participate in that group. That's taking a shot and not worrying about the miss, okay? Some of you are getting in better shape. If you've been with us every single day, you're noticing probably a little bit more core strength, probably a little bit more leg strength, a lot less soreness if you've been doing it every day. If you're only doing it once a week, you're probably still experiencing that. Soreness is actually one of the main reasons why people quit exercising, because they don't want to feel sore like they did, okay? And knowing that that soreness goes away. So. Making those tough choices. That's how I kind of correlate you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. Okay? Making those tough choices that can help separate you in those situations and make you stand up. So, choose to be great. Right? Every life we have choices to make. Every single day. I tell my kids this too in health class. Every day you come across hundreds of choices that you have to make. To set my alarm and get up, that's a choice. Brush my teeth, that's a choice. Eat a breakfast, that's a choice. Some of them are gonna be bigger than others, okay? Your friend presents you with something that you probably shouldn't be taking part in because it's illegal. That's a bigger choice than possibly, you know, saying I should set my alarm or not. Maybe, but that alarm could also eventually be your routine <clears throat> when you get older. So even though it may seem like a small choice now, it could be a huge choice as you get older, okay? And it builds that strength inside to trust in you and believe in you. And that's the whole premise around this, is be confident in your values and your beliefs, okay? And let that set your way. So in that, we're gonna let Blake read the joke. Are you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna have it over here so you can be loud to the camera. Yeah. All right. What? What is a witch's favorite subject in school? What is a witch's favorite subject in school? Spelling. Spelling! <laughs> alright. Bring our hands in. We got this together, alright? We got this. Best group on Facebook by far, right here. 
Team on three. One, two, three. Team. Peace out. Make good choices. Have a great day.